Okay, welcome to the final section of our folder. So if we've got to this stage, then you've already shown quite a lot of uh, change and iteration and creativity. You should have a folder with some lovely research exploring some ideas and exploring your clients' needs. And then you've uh, summarised those clients' needs into a list of criteria in section B. And section B was your design brief and your design criteria combined together. Then in section C you explored some initial ideas, applied as much creative thinking as you could and maybe did some rough prototypes and models. And in section D you took those ideas and you developed them into detailed drawings, CAD drawings and uh, working prototypes and scale models that would show how it works. Then in section E you took that working prototype model and then you explored materials, manufacturing methods, quality control and you turned that model into something tangible and you turned it into a real product. So here is um, a real product of a comic book stand based on, on Batman's cow. Okay, and it all functions exactly as intended. Right, now the final section is to take this and to evaluate it and analyse it against section B. So you set yourself a brief. So this person was going to dis uh, create something that would allow the client to display a comic in a, um, in a sort of a display sense and help protect the comic. And that the client liked Batman. And there were a list of things that the product should do. And now what we would do is we would take this product and we would evaluate, does, does it actually do what we've set out for it to do? Does it achieve what I hoped it would achieve? And it's okay if it doesn't, but you need to recognise that it doesn't. So it's better to be honest in this section than to try and lie and say, yes, I've made the best product in the world, I'm ace, give me full marks. That's not really how it works. You'll get the same marks by saying, it doesn't actually meet half of the criterions because as I was developing the product, I realised this, or I discovered this, or I was unable to achieve this. So it doesn't really matter if you achieved it or not. This is your ability to recognise whether or not you have achieved what you set out to achieve. And then to finish it off with your next steps. So given another year, given more money, or given the equipment you'd need, how would you develop it further? Like, what would you change about it? How would you improve it? Or if you were going to now mass produce this for a, a larger market, this was 3D printed and this took about 17 hours to print. It's not really sustainable if they were going to sell this on Etsy and they're going to sell it to 50, 60, 100 people. They, there's not enough time to do it. Whereas a, a, a bit of research, a bit of an investigation into injection moulding, you could then talk about that. You could talk about if I was going to mass produce this, I would make a cast based on this prototype and I would injection mould them, which for mass production would be cheaper and would uh, allow better quality. So you can also talk about the next steps. So it's a look back. Have I achieved everything I hoped? Does it meet the brief? Does it meet the criterion? Have I satisfied what, what I was trying to achieve? And then what, what look into the future? What's next? What can I do differently? How can I do it better? How could I, how could I actually um, put this out there into the market if I wanted to? All right, so that's section F, and that's the final section. So at the end of that, you get products that you can take home, or maybe you don't, it depends on your concept. You might have done architecture, or maybe you have such a creative idea, the technology isn't quite available yet. But that's okay, that's fine. What you'll also have is a portfolio, a folder, that shows all of those skills as a designer. It shows your ability to research, come up with creative ideas, and link them to target audiences and clients' needs and prototype and evaluate and all that manufacturing that you've done, all that investigation, it's all there. And so that folder is really, really valuable to you as a designer. Alright, so well done because at this point you've completed the course.